Hello, Jay Shri Ram guys. Today we are going to check how to import STL file. STL is nothing but the standard tessellation language. Let's go. Go to the file, import, STL. After clicking STL, first select the file path of STL. Then here, select the facet body output type. I am selecting conversion, conversion type, and check, uncheck all these things. And STL file units keep as the millimeters. Click OK. Think it's required at least five to seven minutes to import the STL as a conversion facet body type output that's why as of now i am pausing this video after import i resume again so import was completed Actually, my system is not enough capable to work efficiently with this model but if you have much more better system then you can easily a rotate this kind of model if you zoom or face of the ramlala they can you can easily see the finishing this is so you can able to do 3d printing or prototyping of this ramlala statue okay so this is the stl file this is the one type of one type of file uh, just type of conversion modeling of importing of the stl data okay let's see the other method we hide first these two To conversion bodies okay then again go to the import stl now we are here facet body output type we change conversion to annex and check the show sharp edges button and everything keep as it is stl file is millimeters click ok almost 10% of the conversion bodies times required to import this annex facet body output type file after import you can easily recognize the difference between the facet body of annex and facet body of the conversion so file is ready i'm going to zoom as compared to conversion body you can easily rotate and zoom in zoom out of this an extra facet body here the history in part navigator there is an no any kind of model histories available but in non time step geometry facet body option is here and this annex type facet body is going to be in non stab geometry so we hide this again then again go to the file import stl and change facet out body output type to jt and check show sharp edges one and keep other as it is as compared to 
an x facet body and convergent body jt file requires much less time and easy to handle also but uh, if you want to do some changes you need to use convergent type of bodies other than i think it's facet body and jt file you can't able to do any changes by using polygon modeling and uh, uh, I think it's one more domain in the annex where you can change the STL file added features or removing features this kind of changes you can make by using polygon modeling domain so JT file is also imported hit zoom you can easily see how I smoothly rotating and zoom in zoom out the imported file jt file see the face finishing of the jt file if you go to the non stack geometry and activate the facet body see the difference between facet nx facet body and nx lightweight body that is a jt file and here is he this is the conversion type body this conversion type body requires heavy type of uh, machinery to load and work working on them for only showing just see how it's take a load okay thank you